My beautiful people, my beautiful people, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another lovely episode of the Logic Over Emotions podcast slash reactions. It's your dog, your brother, man, your favorite African-American, Melly, baby. Now on this episode, boys, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wrong song. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> We're going to go over Draymond Green assaulting Jordan Poole. I have a lot to talk about with this because um, a lot of y'all are some weirdos that I've seen and that I commented and I'm gonna break down how dumb a lot of you sound and I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break down the logical reasonable explanation that I possibly can and what I think could possibly happen after so like comment subscribe y'all let's get straight to it but the first per usual that intro alright we're gonna watch it first Watch the whole thing for it. Also, this is from Legend Z Productions. It's one of the homies, man. Subscribe to Legend Z Productions. Big, 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 big contributor to the channel. So as we watching, he's chilling, he's vibing. He might be talking trash. I don't know yet. Look at the walk he's giving. Chest to chest. I read comments telling me, yo, I've seen so many comments of no one talking about this instance right here. You, you, you know what people are talking about more of besides this instance? That. They're talking about Draymond. They're talking about Jordan Poole's push more than Draymond getting chest to chest. You don't get into someone's personal space. That's number one. Y'all are weird for that. Y'all are mad weird for that. Now, for Jordan Poole, we have to understand something. He's not a street dude. He's not a fighter. We know this. We all know this. He talks trash. Fine. But let me ask y'all something. You mean to tell me Draymond Green, one of the trashiest trash talkers, and, and I'm a Draymond Green fan. I'm a Golden State fan, by the way. He talks trash to everyone. You mean to tell me he couldn't take the trash talking of Jordan Poole? You mean that this intellectual human being, because he's very smart, had low vibrations at this moment? Because I do also understand that um, the report said that something, it was a buildup, I believe it was. You mean to tell me Draymond Green couldn't, handle this in a conversation take a five minute break you're at you're at work dog a lot of y'all saying all these things that you would have done you need to shut up because a lot of y'all would never smell this position you can't be at work knocking niggas out <laughs> that's not how this works baby that's not how this works and for y'all that's saying jordan Poole did to steve kerr this is not a jordan this, i mean michael jordan did to steve kerr draymond green is not michael jordan so Michael Jordan can get away with that. Draymond is not. So stop saying that. I understand that the situations are similar. Yeah, I get it. I also do understand as well, too, that champion teams fight. Uh, competitive teams, they fight with one, with, with one another. I get all that. But I want y'all to look at this. That was, he punched Jordan Poole like he was a random nigga on the street. Like he was a random nigga on the street that owed him a sack. That owed him a brick. That was not some competitive fight. No. That looked like it had some animosity behind it. Again, I understand Jim Green's hot headed. I get all that. But that nigga's on the floor. That nigga's on the floor. Let's continue. I'll get my ending results after. Pushed him. Superman punched his, 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 his set him to bed. Uh, Steve talked about kind of he, his belief Jordan's been good attitude wise uh, during camp. I just kind of wanted to get your perspective. Yeah, whatever that the specific tweet that was. And I also don't believe a lot of these PR answers. JT's attitude or something has changed. Usually, I don't believe him. None of y'all should too. Try to read between the lines sometimes. Camp or even, you know, whatever. Also, don't believe the media a lot too because the media. It's hard, man. They addressed it yesterday with his tweet. Uh, you kind of leave it at that. JP's been great. There's nothing. That because was, Curry could be lying. Uh, Golden State was trying to make it, uh, I believe they were trying to make it kind of a smaller situation than it really was, which I do understand because teammates fight. But he knocked him out, dog. He sent, he sent that nigga to the shadow realm. The rest of it, hard with speculation Uh, I hate that that became kind of part of the narrative. It's, it's not 
favorite Well, great PR answer, brother. Great PR answer. But let me say this. Um, it's very simple. Let me start over. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, let's talk about it. Because I want to just say this real quickly. Jordan Poole's not a fighter. We all know this. We all have understood this. Because uh, if he was, he would have understood... Oh, Lord Jesus. He would have understood just simply the fact of Draymond Green's demeanor, his walk-up, and all this down the third. He would have understood that. Let's just put that out in the open. Y'all got to stop saying all this street stuff because a lot of y'all have never hit stains, hit licks, anything, or anything. And y'all talk about the most street things I've ever seen in my life. Stop it. A lot of y'all are citizens. <laughs> a lot of y'all are civilians. You've never been on the block like that. So stop. That's number one. Number two. This is a job. Those are multi-million dollar men. Draymond was wrong. Jordan Poole pushing him, it was right and wrong. And I say that because he should have... It, it takes a lot for men to walk away. But at the same time, he's not someone, clearly, that would be fighting. Clearly. But I do understand when you push somebody, what that leads to is these hands. You get what I'm saying? I understand that Jordan Poole doesn't. I don't get how the rest of the world doesn't see this, but like, come on now. So I'm not a fan of what happened, and there's two options that I'm kind of guessing was gonna happen. Um, Jordan Poole's gonna go crazy this year, and he's going to leave possibly. There's a, there's a possibility. I don't know. I have no idea. Or he's gonna be the bigger man, deal with it, hoop, do his thing, and continue on with life. Uh, Jordan Poole seems like the kind of person that likes to prove people wrong, so I feel like he'll really stay. But I feel like he's going to have a little bit of a, a chip on his shoulder with Draymond, though. Because this is on the internet now, bro. You can't knock somebody out and be on the internet like that. And a lot of you saying, oh, this day and the third, man. Uh, he's soft if he doesn't step. A lot, uh, like I said, a lot of y'all have never been in this position. Try thinking from their point of view. That's all I'm saying, bro. If y'all come in with these negative comments and saying all this wild stuff, if you're not coming with actual good, like, like, like a good assumption, like how I'm doing, I'm just gonna ignore or block you, bro. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't. Again, words don't bother me. I just block your dumbass. I don't care. Or I'll, I'll, I'll let the, I'll, I'll let the rest of the comments just, just kill you. You know, I don't really care. So. But again, I'm not a fan of what happened, but I do get teammates fight. But he Superman, he Superman punched that man's lights out. <laughs> he knocked Jordan Poole lights out. Niggas, he knocked him out, bro. That's a that's a shout out to my cousin too. Poole's 195, Draymond's 230. That's a that's a good difference, bro. These are trained athletes, bro. So, ugh, I don't know, bro. But Draymond got to get obviously he has to get some kind of uh, suspension or something. You're at work knocking your you can't do that, bro. <laughs> You're not, you're not Stephen Curry. You're not LeBron. If they did that, that'd be different. But he, but you know, you dream on green, bro. You know. Also, too, for those that are sitting there saying, um, Jordan Poole must have said something crazy. Are we gonna forget like Draymond Green is not known for being one of the craziest trash talkers in the game? He never got his 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 his, his lights knocked out. Are we gonna forget about him and the Tristan Thompson situation? How y'all were saying how y'all were saying that he deserved it, and then a good amount of y'all was saying like he didn't deserve it because he was coming with positive energy, trying to apologize. We're gonna forget about that conversation too. We're gonna forget about how he loved how he didn't back down from Damian Lillard and was pissing Damian Lillard off, saying, "Yo, you gotta calm your rookie down." We're gonna forget about that fire that he loved from Jordan Poole at that, but when it came to him in this situation, it's we gotta know what he said. If you result. For someone saying words to you with physical altercation, you are a low vibration, non intellectual individual. I want you to understand that right now. You're not a tough guy for beating up on somebody for saying something to you that you didn't like. I get that disrespect warns violence at times. I do get that, but intellectual human beings know how to converse when someone brings negativity of the uh, 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 vocal caliber to them. You get what I'm saying? So, again, Y'all call me weak. Y'all call me whatever you want. I really don't care. I don't know you. You don't know what I. Well, you don't know what I used to do. I got the thick ass glasses to throw right now. I'm gonna curl my hair later on. But like, but back in the day, it was a whole different Melvin. So, and I'm not here to prove who I was back in the day to a whole bunch of old ass niggas, a whole bunch of young ass niggas who have no idea what it's like to even be in the scenarios 
of some street stuff. That's not what this is about. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to get my two cents on that, man. I don't want either of them to leave. I love both of them. I love both of these brothers personally. But, um, Draymond, you, you got it. You got it. You got it, bro. Because you let your emotions get the best of you. And you, you cannot be a veteran doing that because someone trash talked. When you're the biggest trash talk on the team, bro. In the league. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, bro. That's so silly. I think that's so silly. But like I said, I if Jordan Poole wanted to leave, I'm not going to call him pussy for that. Y'all are weird for that. Y'all want to work around somebody who knocked your ass out in his own. I'm like, come on, bro. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop capping. Like, yeah, I don't know why y'all lying on the internet. Y'all have nothing to prove, bro. We don't know you or care to know y'all, man. It's cool, bro. Someone knocked your ass out. What are you going to... I guarantee all y'all will say... A line said, man, I'll... Man, I'll, 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 I'll pop the trunk on so-and-so. Y'all ain't got no nothing in y'all trunk. Stop. I read so much ignorant comments, bro. It was ridiculous, bro. Ignorant-ass comments, dog. Ignorant-ass comments. It was ill, bro. I'm telling you, bro. There's a lot of man children on the internet. And I did not realize this, bro. There's so many of y'all who wouldn't even touch Draymond Green. Y'all were in this situation. But y'all talking like y'all would have. You're at work. I guess a man that's 230. Six foot six, six foot seven. Shut your dumb ass up. You'd have got knocked out just like Jordan Poole. You'd been trying to punch that nigga. That nigga's reach is crazy. That knocked your dumb ass out. What are you talking about? I would have done this. No, you wouldn't have. You'd have been on the floor. <laughs> Shut up, bro. I would have went down swinging. Yeah, yeah. You'd have woke up. <laughs> you'd have been in a deep sleep. It is what it is, bro. But I don't think Jordan Poole deserved that, bro. You know, no matter what. But I get teams fight. I get it. I get it from all I get it from all perspectives. I get it from Jordan Poole's perspective. I get it from Draymond. I don't get it from Draymond's perspective, honestly. Uh I don't because you getting it in somebody's chest, that itself warrants a fight already. That warrants hostility already. We all know that. But the push solidifies to the other individual. I put my hands on you now. What's so what's up? You know what I'm saying? So I get that. I get that. But Jordan Poole did it. And, and, and people criticizing him for that is weird, bro. He's not a fighter. Clearly, he's not a fighter, bro. I don't understand why we're even having this discussion. Draymond Green's at fault, bro. It's really simple. And he's, he has to be... He has to be punished. You assaulted you, you assaulted your co-worker at work. That's what this was. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all are bugging out. Like, acting like you, you if you punch somebody at your job, you wouldn't get let go. Like, y'all don't think... Y'all have this fake imagination about what you you, you like what y'all are and, and stop. Man, I didn't like this video to go over this video. I, I uh but I, I had to go over it, man, because it was just the comments are so weird, bro. Everybody's so gangster. Everybody's so gangster now. Everybody's so gangster. It's absolutely hilarious. Hilarious. Everybody's so gangster, but none of y'all stood up to y'all bullies ever. None of y'all ever stood up to your bullies, but y'all so gangster though. Y'all so gangster, but y'all get bullied by your girlfriend all the time. But y'all, but y'all so gangster though. I don't talk, I don't talk online as if I'm some tough guy, as, as if I'm some know-it-all. I don't do that because always room for growth, and there's always somebody tougher than me, stronger than me, smarter than me, always different kind of things. So when I hear these, I, I saw, I saw one of the OGs, an, an older individual in the comments, dude had a nerve to say, bro, that. This generation is soft and this, then, da, 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 right? This, this, these are the same OGs. I'm not saying all y'all. I, I love and respect my OGs. But these are the same kind of OGs that get their asses knocked out by someone of a younger age and then call the police on him. These are the same ones who will talk and say, that was me, I'd have done this, then, the third. Got their ass knocked out by an 18 year old. Either call the police or call the young nephew to do, to do, to, to do the dirt. But aren't you the same one that said you would have done this if you was in this situation at this age, blah, 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 blah? Like, stop, bro. Y'all, a lot of y'all are storytellers, bro. A lot of y'all are such phonies that it's, it's ridiculous, bro. Call a spade for a spade, bro. That's a grown-ass man that got upset that another grown-ass man had words to him as if Draymond Green doesn't have words for everybody all the time. Stop it, bro. Stop it. Low vibration, low intellectual situation right there from Draymond Green as, as, as an L dog and I'm gonna react to his podcast episode when he finally brings it out about the situation 
because I want to hear his input. And I feel like he's going to have a lot of responses. I feel like he's going to put have a lot of, uh, yo, that was on me. I bugged out. I feel like he's going to say that. And uh, I can't wait to see it, man. But sorry, I made this video kind of long. But I had to address a lot of you weirdos, man. Like y'all not like that. Y'all not tough. Y'all not tough, bro. It's not, you're not. You're not. You're not at all. You're not that guy. You're not that guy, dog. You're not. And a lot of y'all talk like, as if you're, you're in the streets versus where this is a bunch of millionaires in a job scenario. Like, like I said, y'all are weird, bro. Weird. <laughs> y'all are weird. But hey, man, it's your boy Millie, man. I'm signing out, man. I gotta get back to work, man. I just had to do this video. Uh, shout out to the homie, man. Uh. What, what man's name? Shout out to Lucas Changus. I'm not saying the rest of your name, bro. I'm going to butcher, butcher that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shout out to you, family. Appreciate you for even getting this on here, dog. But uh, it's boy Melly, man. I'm signing it out. And uh, per usual, peace, love, and keep that drip immaculate at all times, baby. Stay easy, breezy, beautiful, sensational, excellent, uh, healthy, but most importantly, drink water, my friends. Road to a thousand is looking really nice, man. Thank y'all for all y'all support, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the Banks family, y'all, so be so we can become the best community that has ever existed on this platform. That is the goal, and that's what we're gonna do, baby. Peace and love, y'all. Bow. Peace. I'm mad at you, son. <laughs>